This is Twit. Chrome browser is the browser that comes by default with your Android device, but you don't have to use it if you don't want to. Uh, so one browser that I found that I kind of enjoy is Kiwi browser. I actually don't know if it has any relation to, let me put this over here so we're not, I actually don't know if it has any relation to uh, New Zealand because it has a name Kiwi in it, but I will tell you that it is a very fun, uh, private, a little more private version of Chrome if I would put it that way, except it's it's run by a developer. So, you know, a bit Made of a in smaller- Made Estonia. So- oh, Wow, okay, you got good Baltics right there. Yeah. Um, so yes, this is a Kiwi browser. So the main features, this is based on Chromium 68. So it looks just like Chrome when you're in it. Even the menu scheme looks just like Chrome. So look at that. I mean, you can't even tell that I'm not in Chrome. Um, even when you go into the settings, they all look like Chrome. They're exactly the same as the Chrome settings. But behind the scenes, there's a lot of power going on here. So when you go into the settings menu, it tells you how many ads and trackers have been blocked since you've been browsing. Uh, there's also a powerful, let's see, there's a do not track setting on here that I've enabled. Uh, there's a powerful ad block that takes away intrusive ads. There's also crypto jacking protection so that nobody can take over your device to try and mine cryptocurrency because that's a thing that happens in this day and age. Mm -hmm, um, so you don't have to worry about any of those things. Also, this blocks notifications, blocks trackers. It automatically accepts our website is using cookies messages. So you don't have to deal with saying, okay, I agree. I know what I'm getting into. I've been reading the internet for a while now. There's a custom downloads folder. So you can choose where all of your download file, downloaded files are stored, which is nice and uh, nice and convenient. And it also, one other thing that it does that I haven't tested myself is that it plays videos and music even with the screen is off. So if you've got a website that you like to stream from, you can just stream from that in the background and then listen to the audio without worry that it's going to shut off when you shut your phone off. So you don't have to leave your screen on. Um, it's free. It's very new. It's still being developed, but it's got a good 4.6 score. I've been using it for about a week and uh, it was updated um, less than 10 days ago. So this is constantly, constantly being bettered. <laughs> Being improved is the Kiwi, Kiwi browser. browser. Oh, Are also, we, uh, one more thing yeah. I want to show you. Night mode. Yay. Ooh, nice. Darker right. interface. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> what were you going to say, Charlotte? I was going to say, are we allowed to ask questions in Arena? I have no idea. Sure. Sure. Yes. Sure. Go, go for it. For it. Uh, can you, uh, since this is based on Chrome, right? Can you like sign into your Google account and have all your like logins and your history kind of ported over or? So this actually saves differently. Mm. It actually, yeah, it saves it separately. So when you go into um, the password management, it'll show you, um, yeah, mm, it's basically gotcha. doing oh, it this way. Layer. Yes. The Kiwi layer. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just whatever it stores internally, which I think is supposed to make it a little safer. The idea. So you don't end up getting like your Chrome account. No. Or your, your so there's Google no smart account, lock like, or anything. Like bookmarks or anything mm. like yeah. that. There's no smart lock or anything like that. But I, you know, you don't want to yeah. track stuff. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Cool. At least it I don't think so. Kiwi Browser is the name. And uh, yeah, check it out.